Hey, in the last part, I didn't forget anything. Woohoo! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's start Crockhead Clamber. Right now, well, actually, it's a little bit past now, but yeah. Uh oh. Do not like you. <laughs> You're a rather tricky enemy. You can climb on the cattails here because they're apparently strong enough for monkeys to climb on, and yeah. And once again, Flitter is being as helpful as ever because that's just what that quote-unquote enemy does. Look at that, I wouldn't be able to get that letter K without Flitter there. <laughs> Flitter is best enemy. Oh, I mistimed that a little bit, but that's okay. Things are still going fairly well. Uh-oh. <laughs> and Flitter even makes this jump a little bit easier because I can jump on it instead of having to take the jump with a cartwheel or something like that. Crockhead, also considered an enemy, which isn't really an enemy. <laughs> Whee! Is how the heck would I be able to get ye old save barrel there without the crockhead saving me happily? Wait, what? Did I? How did I? No, I didn't miss. Squitter, did I? How did I mi miss Squitter? It, it was it was a linear p linear path, and the camera didn't even move up. <laughs> I I must say I'm a little flabbergasted. By the way, hitting those barrels makes crockheads pop out of the water, of which you need to quickly run over. And I totally jumped the gun there. <laughs> like watch this. See that when I hit the barrel, they appeared out of the swampiness. Beware of piranha-infested waters. Uh, yeah! I was wondering if I'd be able to get that with Dixie alone. I mean, I, I assume I would have to, because y you would have to get the Donkey Kong barrel with someone to even be able to get the Donkey Kong barrel. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think my timing is a little off there. Oh, well, maybe not. I guess it gave me enough time to compensate for the um, zinger that was in my way at, at the beginning. Yeah, I'm... I'm kind of puzzled as to pff, what I could have possibly missed there. And somehow I managed to get all Kong letters there. <laughs> Just how things go, I suppose. Well, that was a rather easy romp through the level, but... I didn't get any bonus areas or Donkey Kong coins. Like, where did I... Oh. Well, that explains a lot. Alright, I'm gonna... Maybe I should kill the top one to make this a little easier. You know, to just, like, jump directly over it. Um... Oh, jeez! Um... Oh, boy. That's not friendly. <laughs> that's... That's the... That, what? Can I, like... Yeah, I can't use that to get back, but that's a rather mean jump sequence there. But yeah, I guess I missed this right at the beginning because I I expected that there was going to be nothing behind me, but there was something behind me. There's like a, a whole other level behind me. Jeez. Okay. But yeah, I, I can't jump over them normally, so I, I would literally have to throw over <laughs> over the zingers in order to not take a hit and let um, my partner suck me over there. But wow, that's that's a heck of an awkward throw. <laughs> and let's just try it here. Hmm. But that that would have hit the other zingers then. I'm just trying to get the hang of this for the heck of it. Oh yeah, it is possible. Why did I think it was in? Well, I just screwed myself. <laughs> oh, I should have start selected. I'm just being extra stupid there. But okay, let's just do this for realsies now. <laughs> since I since I kind of got the hang of the uh, throwing here, sort of. <laughs> At least the uh, the throw physics again. I'm sure I've done this before. I mean, I've had to have done this before without. Um, Oops, <laughs> without taking hits. It's just kind of a 
a personal challenge that I'm aiming here for. What I could do is just tank a hit and just run right through them if I wanted to. But as you can tell, I'm not I'm not actually doing that. <laughs> How did I manage to do that? I was holding up, or at least I thought I was holding up. Dang, Xbox D-pad, I'm gonna be stuck on one level for six years. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> All right, tank the hit. Well, one more time, just for the heck of it. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the hit. I'm, I'm tired of that. <laughs> oh, ooh, multiple treasure chest. It's, it's a treasure chest in a treasure chest. Okay, so that's where the Donkey Kong coin is, but that doesn't explain or show where Squitter is. Like anywhere, because you see the camera is um, it's it's locked into its current position. Oh, oh geez. So it's like, where could Squitter have been hiding? Like, is there something off screen that I missed an indication for? Somewhere, it's definitely not in the water. Obviously, because that's instant death. Oops. You come back around. There you go. Hmm. Oh, great. <laughs> I was just looking around in the in the sky, and nope, still didn't find anything there. And I managed to kill myself. At least I got the the Donkey Kong coin. This part is going lovely! Absolutely lovely. <laughs> Alright. It's gotta be something in the first part because otherwise I wouldn't have Squitter at that point. You know, it's gotta be before that sign. That is the logic that I see in this. Maybe I'm supposed to crash through this barrel, I don't know. <laughs> that's not even possible. At least not in this game, that's that's for the sequel. And, and you need Kitty Kong for that, for that sort of thing. <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to kill all the flitters, I don't know. Because <laughs> there's a checkpoint. Still haven't seen Squitter. And here is... Unless I'm just supposed to like... Oh. <laughs> I was supposed to throw a monkey up there. I see. <laughs> and then this is to prevent Squitter from going forward because he would completely and utterly break the level. Got it. Okay. I got it. So that means... Yeah, I missed that extra life. Who cares? Yep, uh, 100%ed. Well, let's do another level. Rattle Battle! This is the level with the music that I said that you would definitely like. Well, I mean, I, that I definitely like a lot here. There's a bonus right off the bat here that I recall. So, yep. But you'll be able to hear the music in full as I get into the uh, level a little bit later. You definitely need Dixie. Well, maybe you don't need Dixie for this. Maybe you could just cartwheel jump across here. I'm just carefully, I mean, uh, overthinking it, excuse me. Okay, and I can actually, I can quite literally cheat the game a little bit by getting coins and bananas over and over again by beating that bonus level and then coming back through here. Okay, here is the brand new transformation barrel, and this one is for Radley. And yeah, it controls exactly like Radley, and you can tell if you have an extra hit because you'll see that you have an extra hit at the bottom left corner there. It's like a, um, it's an indica indicator that you have another monkey with you, basically. So this is a, is a stage that is entirely based off of Radley here. And did I hit a ceiling? Eh, no, I just have the camera camera push me back <laughs> it's kind of weird how that works I was just looking around there to see if there is something up there but uh, be careful in this stage though because the enemies are very bouncy and uh, 
You are also very bouncy and you might not be used to Radley's controls just yet, so just take your time to get a, get through this and you should be good to go. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> like, see, so just pay attention to their attack patterns before you... How did I jump directly in between them? That That's like uncanny, the most uncanny thing I could have possibly done. I mean, it, that's near impossible to do. <laughs> <laughs> with the size of their hitboxes. I mean, seriously, that was ridiculous. Oh wait, what's down there? Kind of curious to see. Oh, death. <laughs> um, can I get across there now? Yeah! Yes, I can, with a super jump. Brog! Still don't know what the heck they're saying. <laughs> Anything? Is there is something down there? He's got to look down the holes to make sure there isn't something there. Oh, 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 ooh! Is that the bonus barrel, or is that just a barrel to get out of there? Bonus barrel. Must kill the zingers while finding the, the token. Hold the jump button the whole way, and you'll find this a lot easier, because you'll be able to have a nice floaty jump. You don't have to worry about reacting too quickly. Let's go. And is this the spot with the bananas? I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing so, yeah. Okay, what's down here? Okay, that one's the thing that just exits you out of that that ditch. Just gotta carefully look down the holes. Just make sure I'm not missing stuff. Ah, uh, that zinger. Will you get in my headroom if I go under you? No, I guess not. Uh, oh! I just slipped right off the edge. Well, there's something there, as you can tell by the the banana. And wow, it put me all the way back here. Seriously. <sighs> See you back over there. <laughs> Boy, this level goes a lot faster when you're not uh, looking through every crevice. <laughs> so here I am again. I'm not sure what's the best way to deal with this, actually. Because I need... I, I don't know if that the top there is actually like a lip of sorts. That'll prevent me from getting into that little hole there. Ah! There's a Donkey Kong coin. Yay! I guess that's, that's the way you should do it, I suppose. Maybe. Oh, geez, cannon. Wait, I bet you I want to go up there. Not just for that coin. Ow, pain! Okay, I. it was just for this coin. Hmm, <laughs> what's, what's that? Is that an indication that there's something down there? I bet there is something down there. Because those bananas usually indicate that there is a... No, there's not! <laughs> the bananas usually indicate that there is a... Um, uh, there's something that shoots you out from a hole like that. But apparently not. Like, what... what what's the point of those bananas? Are they just, like, there... To be detail? <laughs> Well, that's a weird colored one. Oh, jeez. Ah! I wonder if I, I was supposed to use those barrels for something. I don't know. It just, it just seems really suspicious back at that other area. Wait, 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 wait. I know that there's an arrow pointing up, but... Whee! Oh, bonus zone. I will collect those stars. And... I'm gonna have to use a super jump to get these suckers, probably. That's gonna burn some time, isn't it? <laughs> I guess that's kind of the point of making me do a super jump to get the stars. Uh, hurry! Oh, jeez. I said hurry, not fail to do the super jump because you're jumping the gun. Oh, gotta do. Gotta do on the higher ledge because I seem to be just shy of those. If I, uh. I do it from the lowest barrel point. Okay. Yeah, these these have really re weird colors. They look pretty cool though, because they're very unique in uh, style. It's like a tealish of sojis of sorts, and the phone is ringing. Hold on. <laughs> All right, where was I? Ah, I was just about to kill him, and I just killed him, and I'm going to make this jump, and I'm narrating everything I'm about to do. Like, kill these guys, and collect the letter G, and get an extra life. 
Uh, I'm just kind of worried about. Oh, geez. Oh, please no. Oh, I remember this. Okay. It's not that bad. I was thinking of that I had to do some jumps under those barrels in time with the barrels. Wait a second. Where's. I need. Am I supposed to, like, super jump up on top of a barrel to. <laughs> That's what I'm supposed to do, but I should time my super jump a little bit better. So I land on the barrel closer to it, and then I can just, you know, one barrel jump over to where he, his landing is. And anyway, I'll see you back at the spot, I suppose. My nemesis, we meet again. Uh, that works. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's definitely safer going above this guy than going uh, under it. Alright, oh, I need a Dixie to get this. I'm gonna aim for the coin as usual, because saving game is much more important than anything else. Yeah! And with that, I think I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. 100%ed, by the way.